제 41회 거기 리사 씨 집이죠? 안녕하세요. You know, I have this problem every single time. Because we're sitting in this set like this, I feel like I definitely have to bow to everyone, and then I have all this hair in my face. I'm Lisa Kelly for Let's Be Korean. I guess you guys don't have this problem. Well, um, since I have shorter hair than you, but uh, <laughs> since you bow, I have to bow. 안녕하세요. Welcome to LSK. Let's speak Korean. This is your 훈장, Kim Young. 안녕하세요. Blake and I'm Blake, and um, I don't have hair in my face, but I have hair all over my face. <laughs> <laughs> all right, let's get into our program. Yeah, 안녕하세요. 아리랑 TV 시청자 여러분. 어, 배우 한지민입니다. 만나서 반갑습니다. <웃음> 허 사장님 지금 배로 왔는데요. 정말 몰라요? <웃음> 모르겠는데요. 꼴등은 아니거든? 어, 그래. 아무튼 오랜만이다. 내가 찾고 있는 사람이 맞는지 확인하고 어, 전화를 똑바로 걸었는지 확인할 때 쓰는 말이죠. 여보세요? 어, 거기 에릭 씨 집이죠? 어, 한국 드라마도 많이 사랑해 주시고 저 배우 한지민도 많이 사랑해 주세요. I love Let's Speak Korean. 여보세요? 거기 리사 씨 집이죠? 네, 그런데요? All right, we're on the phone. I don't know why we didn't cover this sooner because this actually comes in very handy. When you're on the phone and you want to say hello, we say, 여보세요. But keep in mind, you know, we already learned 안녕하세요. Isn't that hello? Well, you have to differentiate the two situations. When you're in person, when you're speaking to someone, you say 안녕하세요. When you're on the phone, you don't say 안녕하세요. You can, but when you f originally first talk to someone, you want to say 여보세요? 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 All right, and remember, the other person as well answering can also say 여보세요. So it's hello, hello. 여보세요? 여보세요. All right, and the rest of our sentence was 여보세요, 거기 리사 씨 집이죠? Is that Lisa's house? Hear the first part of this sentence, 거기. 거기. Now, for those of you who have been joining us from the beginning of our program, I know you've heard this many times. 거기, over there. 여기, over here, and of course there's 저기 as well. Keep in mind these are words that show uh, position, here, there. 여기, 저기, 거기, all right? And uh, Lisa 씨 집이죠? Is that Lisa's house? Let's put that sentence together. 여보세요, 거기 Lisa 씨 집이죠? 여보세요, 거기 Lisa 씨 집이죠? Very good. And you hear this word 집, which means house. Keep in mind, you may also hear people say tech instead of house. Tech is like residence. In English, we don't say, is this Lisa's house? I guess you could, but uh, most people say Kelly's residence, Kim's residence. 여보세요 is the Korean form of hello, 여보세요. And Lisa, she, 대기죠? Is that Lisa's house? You know, at the, uh, at the end of uh, that uh, sentence, it said 대기죠, 이죠, 이죠. That is sort of like asking a question or asking for confirmation. You're pretty sure that this is Lisa's house, but you just want confirmation. You just want to make sure. So you say, 여보세요? Lisa, she, 대기죠? Now, that uh, last two syllables that we heard, 이죠, something, something, 이죠, we're going to use that a lot. So let's uh, get on to that. I am studying so hard. Nice little rabbit you drew there, but you know, at least you're studying. Hey, yeah, check it of out. course. Check it out. Meet me at Gangnam Station tomorrow at 2, and I'll buy you lunch. Really? Yeah, for real. What? Uh, Gangnam Yokkijo? That's right. You know what time? That would be. Neil uh, Yeah, that's right. It took you long enough to say it. Tomorrow at 2, we'll meet at Gangnam Station. Don't be late. I'm not going to eat until then. You're going to be paying out the nose, buddy. 네, 그런데요. Now remember, we asked, is this Lisa's house? So the response was, sure, yes, of course it is. 네 is just an affirmation, affirmation of whatever you said before that sentence. Is this her house? 네, yes. And 그런데요 is also another way to affirm what someone says. It means, sure, of course, and da 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 da. Okay, so be careful how you say it. 네. 그런데요 means yes, of course. 네, 그런데요. 네 is yes. 그런데요 means something like that's right. Yeah, that's right. And uh, 
that uh, last little um, phrase there, 네, 그런데요, 그런데요, something in 데요, 네, 그런데요, that little last phrase, uh, you're going to use that quite a bit, and it's sort of a segue into another sentence, another uh, follow-up uh, confirmation or something like that. 네, 그런데요. Exactly. So kind of like, hey, Blake, I heard you're married, right? 네, 그런데요. Oh, wow, so I mean, so wait, so wait a minute. No, see? she could be watching. 네, 그런데요. She see? is watching. Oh yeah, wow, Lisa, Lisa, what are you doing? God, huh? you're just rocking this, all this food right here. You're just eating every, everything up. It's good. Else. It's good for your diet. You don't gain weight eating kimchi. Kimchi is good stuff, baby. It's good for SARS too, right? Right. How, how does it taste this good, huh? Oh, you know what? Mm. I'll tell you why. It's because of this thing called a 숨쉬는 항아리, or a breathing vase. What? Breathing vase? Yeah. It's crazy? Not too Dude, I'll show you here. Check this out over here. Breathing vase. I happen to have a breathing vase right next to me, and this is called a changdok. See how kimchi oh, is stored kimchi in there? Inside. Exactly. Look at that. But how does this breathe? What are you talking mm. about? Mm. Oh yeah, I know Yummy. it smells good. Well, yeah, basically, yeah. this vase is scientifically mm. proven mm. to breathe, oh. and uh, that's what helps the kimchi taste better through a better fermentation process. The kimchi is. Uh, Actually, I remember lots of people having this in their balconies, in their backyards, but these days exactly. they don't have these anymore. Exactly, exactly. Uh, because this has been replaced by a kimchi nengjango or a kimchi refrigerator. You know those right. superstars, they always, you know, they kimchi nengjango. You know, they do all that stuff, right? They do those CFs and commercials and stuff. But um, in the olden days, they used to do this through this changdo, and it actually works better, and no electricity is needed. It's test time, and we're just gonna get right into it. Jumping right. right into the first question. When you call someone, what is the first thing you or they are likely to say in Korean? That's the easy part. Here's the second question. You have to check. You're asking them if it's uh, Mr. Kim's house. What do you say? Yoboseyo Kogi Kim Sang Seng Nim Dekicho. Your pronunciation is bad. One last review of our lesson for today. Yoboseyo Kogi Lisa Shichibijo. Yoboseo is used on the phone, only on the phone, when you first speak to someone, meaning hello. Kogi Lisa Shi Chibijo. Kogi, over there. Uh, speaking to the person on the other end of the line, over there. Is that Lisa's house? Ne, kurondeo. Ne, affirming something. Kurondeo, yes, that is true. And it also means continue on, uh, continue on, keep speaking. Ne, kurondeo. Bye bye. Bye.